Hi class! Welcome to our math lesson today. Today we're talking about congruent shapes. What it means to be congruent. We may even try drawing some congruent shapes. Hmm, it would be hard to do that if we don't know what it means to be congruent. Congruent means that our shapes are the same shape and the same size. Let's learn some actions so that we can remember that. When I say shape, I want you to make a little triangle. And when I say size, I want you to go out like this for size. Congruent means that our shapes are the same shape and the same size. Let's do it again. They're the same shape and the same size. I'm going to do the actions and I'm going to leave some words out and I want you to fill them in. Congruent means that our shapes are the same and the same did you remember that they're the same shape and the same size? I hope so. I have a couple of shapes here that I want you to look at. Are they congruent? Hmm, let's think about it. Are they the same shape? They are. Are they the same size? No, <laughs> this one is much too small. What if I gave you this one? Are these congruent? They are. They are the same shape and the same size. So they are congruent. Hmm. What about these two shapes? Are they congruent? Hmm. Let's put them to the test. Are they the same shape? They are. They're both squares. Are they the same size? Doesn't pass that part of the jazz. This one is much too small. What about these shapes? Are they congruent? They are. They are the same shape and the same size. I have something here that is an awful lot of fun to play with. Have you ever played with a geoboard before? They are a lot of fun. They have different pegs on them and you can use little rubber bands to make shapes with them. This one is a triangle. Hmm. Do you think that you could draw this shape? If you are doing your lesson, you would have a paper that has little dots on it and you could try drawing this shape. It goes all along the bottom from the furthest peg to the furthest peg on the other side. And then it goes straight up to the top middle peg. Could you draw this? If you drew it, it would, your shape would be congruent as my shape or would be congruent with my shape. Hmm. I'm going to show you another pegboard and I want you to tell me if this shape is congruent with the other one. Are they congruent? They're both triangles. They are the same shape, but I don't think that they're the same size. This one is much smaller. Hmm. They're not congruent. They do not pass our test. I have another pegboard here for you. Here it is. Can you draw this on your paper? It's a rectangle. If you have a geoboard or a pegboard at home, I would like to see if you can make your shape match mine. And for it to match, that would mean it was congruent. You would be making yours the same shape and the same size. My board does, or my shape, does not start at the very corner peg. It starts in one and it goes across to two. And it goes all the way up to the top and across. Could you make yours look the same? If you do, then yours would be congruent because it would be the same and the same that's right. We're going to see if these two are congruent. Let's see here. I have two rectangles. 
Are they congruent? Hmm. Are they the same shape? They're both rectangles. Are they the same size? This might be a little bit of a trick. They actually are congruent. I just need to turn this one over. Look, they don't have to be in the same direction. They just have to be the same shape and the same size. And these ones are. I hope that you have fun making and drawing congruent shapes today. Have a great day, class. Bye-bye.